our artists, you know, being nominated for the Grammys, yeah. we being able to influence the African sound with the high life, hip life. Now it is moving towards digital and artificial yeah. intelligence, which we cannot run in our way. Today I'm going to reveal the secret. The reason why I love sounds from the Volta region is the way. So if you want to benefit from, you know, the whole monetization thing, you just have to. What the platforms are paying now is not really, really encouraging. So somebody sent screenshots of his dashboard, over 2 million views and less than $10. I feel, I feel the cost per click at the moment is not really encouraging because if you're advising a younger version, a 10 year old Kini Ice, what yeah. would you tell that person? I'll tell you to Facebook monetization. Mm. Now that it is here, mm -hmm. how can we leverage this thing to grow as creatives? The requirement is very scary, but as it stands now, one thing I believe is that it should always be let's create, let's continue creating content. And again, let's pay attention to the as you can already see, this is not a kind of interview you want to skip. This is not a kind of interview you want to jump around and see what the person is saying. This discussion is jam-packed full of golden nuggets and golden insights on all that has to do with making money on the internet. If you are a creative, if you are a musician, you are a content creator, whatever it is, you need to listen to this, watch it closely, possibly watch it a number of times, save this video, and then share it to some other people to gain insight about it as well, because I was blown away. It's double V for Visit Voter again. Let's get into this discussion. My name is Johnila. Um, for now, I'm a freelance journalist, just exploring nature, uh -huh. you know, telling the Ghanaian story, making sure that you know, the very important element of our culture and all those things, you know, don't get missing as a result of globalization and civilization. So that's why. <laughs> you know, I do a lot of inspiration from him. Thank if you follow us, you realize that selling the Ghanaian story, the mm -hmm. Ghanaian way by ourselves. Yeah. And I learned, I got that from him. My Thank first YouTube you. video, technically, like he was... Anyway, I'm let's grateful. leave that there. Mm. But apart from mm. that, can you tell us a little bit of the other things you're into? Okay, so uh, you said you are a freelance journalist. You are yeah. into. You are doing a lot of things. Mm. Mm. Uh, you are managing. You are now the head of African something something. Yeah. Uh, yes, I used to be. I used to be okay. the brand um, uh, brand ambassador and also country director for Omziki Distribution. Okay. But you know, it was a brief deal. Oh, okay. So okay. that ended. You know, we've not really done like a press yet um but basically that is it um, okay was in charge of you know the company's distribution activities basically in ghana here uh, but you know that deal has ended so oh, okay okay yeah. okay and then mm. your artist your music your, yeah. your field in the mu what do you do in the music you know field? you know it's it's passion <laughs> it's passion i've been in a space as an artist manager you know project-based manager okay you know working with artists in the area of public relations yeah. brand management digital distribution anything that has to do with the welfare of the artist you know business wise i'm in there and of course you can't work with an artist and not have personal relationships mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. i'm more of a big brother in the picture for most of you know the artists who are we all know you know kini Ice has been the, the, the guy for for quite some time now, seven years. But today I'm in Ho because Hedger, Hedger, you know, Hedger things, Hedger things. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here because you know Yao Darling is on tour. Yao Darling is okay. one amazing artist. Yeah, I heard, I heard the name online and he's he's sleeping in the room there. <laughs> okay, I see. You'll be on the set soon. So basically, that is it for me. Mm, mm, okay, mm, mm. so I initially wanted to touch on the various things you do before we discuss them in detail. But let's yeah. just jump Straight. head first. Yeah, yeah. music. Music, not just in Ghana, mm. but in the Volta region. How is the terrain like in music space? Um, when you take it on, on a national level, Ghana as a country, I think we've come a long way. Okay. Pre-independence, post-independence, this is where we are. <laughs> Our artists, you know, being nominated for the Grammys. Yeah. We've been able to influence the African sound with the high life, hip life, and all the various kind of music that we've had over the years. Um, we, we, it's a green process, you yeah. know, and every era and what it comes with. Okay. As we speak right now, the, the music industry is changing. Now it is moving towards, you know, digital and artificial yeah. intelligence, which we cannot run in our way. Um, it, it's a beautiful one. Let me narrow it down to Volta region. You okay. know, I love music from the Volta region. Today I'm going to reveal the secret. The reason mm -hmm. why I love sounds from the Volta region is the way people from this side pay attention to the various traditional, you know, sounds, mm -hmm. elements, and they infuse that. Listen to songs like Gankivi by Kini Ice. Mm -hmm. that, is, mm -hmm. that is literally, <laughs> you know, rap on Agbaja. Yeah. 
listen to Hedge. That is, you know, Hedge is actually <laughs> a dance by the people of Faplau. Yeah, and it was later that I actually yes, discovered that. So I Kenny knew. Ayers actually popularized it. And he's one of the many, you know, amazing artists from the Volta region that I love. So, you know, people... People even feel I live 100% in the Volta region, but I just see myself in the Volta region almost every time because of the things here. If it's not music, then it's event. If it's not event, then actually we are exploring, just like you are doing. <laughs> tourism gang. Amazing. Yeah, we'll, we'll be coming to tourism. Yeah, we'll be coming to sure. tourism. Mm. Okay, so that's the general feel of music yeah. in the, uh, um, the region. Yeah. Now, apart from that um, monetization when it comes to artist management mm. and all that, um, what can our young artists, what, or what can we learn? What can we do? It's no more the days of sell CD or sell pen. Or yeah. Like, how, how is the yeah. terrain like digital music distribution? You I know, know you, are, you, are, you have a PhD d, 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 d degree <laughs> in, in digital distribution of music. What, 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 how is the field like over it, there? It, it is very interesting because I experienced the cassette era, the CD mm -hmm. era, and now streaming. <laughs> and it's so wonderful how you, know, you have to put your music online yeah. and somebody stream before you get your money. Yeah, These are like interesting developments artists don't have to take for granted. Okay. Now, everything is content. You have to upload your content, mm -hmm. somebody watch, somebody pays for an advert, mm -hmm. and they split a percentage with you. That is how everything has become right now. And just as you mentioned, big shout out to every single soul out there who used their social media to push for Ghana to have monetization. And yeah. I'm very happy that I wasn't so low on that because <laughs> I feel like, you know, we, we've, we've, been, we've been here for so long. Yeah. We've, been, we've been able to grow Facebook. We've been able to grow Instagram, YouTube, all this. These people, they don't have anything. They have the platform. We produce the content, yes. right? Look at how much we spend you mm -hmm. know in producing mm -hmm. a, single a single content, content. the other time i have to travel somewhere just to produce 13 seconds content I, I, and if i, I should tell you the full uh -huh. the hotel and everything <laughs> you see? so you see if no if there's no mechanism that is pain then it's like a loose game on our side but they benefit yes yes, yes. they always so, put add on it yes so i'm happy that ghana is not the only country that is monetized right now Nigeria is also money. I would want to see the entire country, uh, the entire continent being monetized. Now, as an artist, how do you take advantage of this? First of all, if you're an artist, you already have like a copyrighted um, project, which is the music, mm -hmm. yeah, because you, you distributed your music, they have assigned ISRC code to your music, which is literally like the ID Unique card identifier. for every song. So you just have to continue creating unique content. Yeah. For me, I, it is uniqueness that I watch. I don't necessarily watch <laughs> the video. What is so important in this particular video? And that is something I would want all over. See, I keep learning every single day because I feel like I'm still in class one when it comes to content creation. <laughs> and as much as we try this thing, we, we started this thing, you know, small, small way back, but mm -hmm. it has become a whole institution now. And you just have to learn how to do it and do it well. So if you want to benefit from, you know, the whole monetization thing, you just have to learn how to create content. That is one. You have to learn how to tell a better story. Mm -hmm. you, okay. you have to learn how to collaborate. You have to grow your space so that you can also benefit from all these things before you can benefit. In as much as, again, I also feel like what the platforms are paying now is not really, really encouraging, honestly. <laughs> because I, I, somebody sent me a screenshot, a screenshot of his dashboard. I wasn't impressed. Yeah. Over 2 million views. And less than $10, that is not a good deal. That is, that is, we need to improve upon yeah. that. Listen, I know they use a, a mechanism that um, goes by the name cost per click. Yeah. But I feel the cost per click at the moment is not really encouraging. Because see, if the platform is not really paying, people will give up. People will look elsewhere. Yeah. And at the end of the day, your own platform will lose their credibility. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. Okay, mm. so about uniqueness, mm. there's this lady I'm mm. following now, and she's, she's something else, mm. Enam. Yeah. No, no, no. Enam is, is I, I don't know what it is about Enam. She's, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> anyway, so that is on music. Yes. Before you close the chapter on music, yeah. two more questions on, on music. Mm. Um, as a young artist coming up, you touched on a few things that needs mm. to be done. Mm. Um, if you're advising a younger version, a 10-year-old younger version of Kini Ice, what yeah. would you tell that person? I'll, I'll tell you to build your level of uniqueness. That is one. There can only be one Krilov. There yeah. can only be one Johnny Yes, Lass. yes. So you, what, what makes you stand out? That is one. <laughs> so identify that one first and be selfless. Like, 
every single day just giving your best that, that would be the advice i'll give you because no matter how talented you are if if you can still be talented but sound like any other person mm -hmm. that's why even in music we have people who sound like somebody you already know so as an artist your uniqueness is your selling point <laughs> so the uniqueness is key and selflessness don't do the music and expect see the problem facing most of the younger artists now is fame mm -hmm. Social media is giving them the numbers the least expected, yeah. so they think they are out there. But when you get on the streets, nobody knows. <laughs> so like every single day, you have to put in plus one, at least win two souls a day for yourself. That would be the advice I'll give artists out there. But mm -hmm. doesn't that also connect into creating real connections, like having real connect? You know, there's this TikTok versus YouTube thing that is going on online. I think internationally there are events. TikTok organized events and then yeah. there are massive people, people with <laughs> millions of followers on TikTok. They come and then no one shows up at their event. Mm. But TikTokers, uh, YouTubers with less than a hundred thousand, fifty thousand, and then they have massive. Mm. Is it not because they are not creating like real, real connections? Con that is it. That is that's that's one thing I keep telling people. You see, as you move around, create real time connections, not social media. Yeah. That's why you see, mm, if you think you are very influential. Post on social media that you need X <laughs> amount of money and say, oh, you, you need this. You yeah, see the number of people who respond. Yeah. Real life, like, we exist before these apps. Yes, yes, yes. So yes. these apps should not be what guarantee your satisfaction. Go out there, create real connections. And this is one of the key things I do when I travel around. I try as much as I can to you know be in touch with people if the time is there yeah. you get it yeah. this wasn't part of our original plan it I wasn't call. part of my original plan <laughs> but when we reached out when the watch brought the what, conversation what you, what you brought about all this he wants to eat what he hey. no, your darling wanted to eat what and i said okay let me make a post on facebook because i know i have a lot of following here so let me make a post on facebook and see my friends who hey. respond Oh, so, was, you was, see, was, so was, was create connections, create connections, go out there, speak to people, check on people. That's it. Okay, last one on music. I keep feeling that there's one thing I want in Ghana here, and probably you are the only one who can do it. I keep disturbing you with this thing every time. For real. You know, we have art lists mm -hmm. on, mm -hmm. on, in the US, we have, um, um, you know, these music platforms, streaming platforms where yeah. you can actually download an artist's music, use it yeah. in your YouTube videos, and then there's some kind of split month. I want to use Kini Eyes music for my videos. Mm, mm. Okay, then I'm, no more, I'm not just selling the video and then Volta, I'm selling Volta music as well. I want to use local, but around that part of the world here, there's no certain. Mm. And I'm, I'm not going to be happy if some international company comes to Ghana, takes our artist music, and then start providing service to us. Is, yeah. is that doable here? First of all, I think what we have now as as an industry i mean from music from streaming platform to artists who are like owners of this content mm -hmm. i think there should be shared revenue option mm -hmm. where i can still use song by sarkodie songs by kini eyes yes. fine maybe that song will entice people because of course when you are creating content you are telling a story there is a particular song that best yes. tell it for you yes but you see because it's not your property you need to seek the permission <laughs> but if there's that shared revenue option where maybe sarkodie makes a percentage right yeah and i also make a percentage as an influencer of that song through my video it's going to help yeah but Another option that I've also tried, yeah, I've reached out to a couple of engineers to produce soundtracks mm -hmm. based on real-time situations. But it looks like most people are not really buying into the whole thing. So as we speak right now, if you're a producer out there, listen, I have thousands of ideas that can put money in your pocket every single week. Get in touch, let's get it done. Because you see, people are telling stories every single day. They are looking for soundtracks every day. Yes. If it wasn't important, artificial intelligence would, wouldn't be giving mm. that now. Because now, mm. it is easy mm. for me to type into a browser and get an instrumental done Seriously. within a second. Seriously. You get, but you see, we shouldn't let these artificial systems empower what we can do as creatives. Because who built artificial intelligence? It's Indeed. human being. We queued in all those keywords. Mm. You see, so there are many opportunities that 
you know, await for people who want to work with us in terms of content creation. Because we need soundtracks every day. This interview right now, I need you need a song. soundtrack. I'm already thinking. Right? I'm already thinking. <laughs> you need a soundtrack. But you can't use, let's say, your darling song. Mm -mm. You can't use Sarkoday. Mm -mm. You can't use Stone Boy. But there is a particular soundtrack that if a producer should produce it for you, you can use it for this, uh, for this project. When it goes online, you share the percentage yes. with the beat maker. Yeah. You get the point. So... This is the way forward. Mm. Let's talk tourism. Mm. Tourism. You've done more travels. You've done more tourism related things before I even started dreaming about it. For me, it was <laughs> just on book. <clears throat> I'd go back with the technical stuff. Mm. Okay, camera, lens, drone, da 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 For you, you are in the mud. You are, you are barefooted. You are <laughs> in the mud of, of creating content mm. when it comes to tourism. Mm. How is the tourism space in Ghana as a whole? Let's begin it from there before we come to the Volta region. I'll use the word booming. It's booming now. Now, when you go on social media, especially Instagram and TikTok, mm -hmm. you see a lot of companies selling, like the whole business of real estate is growing now. Yeah. Why? Because people are coming now. Hotels are not able to, you know, absorb yeah, our numbers. guests. People are now looking for apartments. Airbnb, Airbnb. Airbnb is on, like, it's on the increase right now. People are looking for lands. People are doing a lot of stuff. That is one point to show that tourism is growing in Ghana. Secondly, Events are growing in mm, Ghana. Charlie, as for the events. See, <laughs> there's no single day I will not go on social media and people ask me, when is Street Jamboree coming? Hey. I got here, you ask me, when is Street Jamboree? <laughs> you know, these are little indicators for you to know that, okay, these things like are growing. Yeah. yeah? On the national level, of course, there have been government policies that have also like drive this whole thing. For instance, year of return, beyond mm -hmm. the return, yes. you know, support for some programs like um, Afro Nation in the yes. past. Um, Afro Future, the Tidal Reefs and all these ones and you know our very own Street Jamboree which is gradually becoming like you know the eye for Volta region in terms of events, pop Charlie. culture events yeah. and all that. Very beautiful. My brother Elombini you know produced an event last year in Ho here uh, Night with the Stars, yes, yes, Night, with the Night Stars. with the Stars. Beautiful. These are elements you get to so and it is growing. The, is there another event coming up? Coming up <laughs> and I, I, I am buying 10 tickets for people to experience that because his Ramawita is a legend. Please, he will tell you how to get one of those tickets. It, unfortunately, it's finished already. Ticket ever? Yes. So let's pray. Pray that <laughs> something, some cash go enter small and I go feel buy for 10 people because wow. I really want. See, there's a challenge I'm throwing to Ghana. I'm not throwing this challenge to the Volta region alone. Mm -hmm. Let's say, I want, let's check the dates. Please, somebody should check the date for us. <laughs> Sorry, we have to do this on camera. I'm coming out. Check. 16th. 16th, what? July 16. No, no, no. Let me confirm. He's uh, watching it. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Eh? Anyway, you will not lie to me. Anyway. Your man, <laughs> <laughs> you will not lie to me. Internet will not allow me to do this. But I want, I want us to fill the auditorium. I want us to fill the auditorium. Let's celebrate. See, when we say legend, Charlie, like 25 years plus. It's it's not easy. Eesh. Israel Mawita has been here for so long, and this is the time for for us to celebrate him. Israel Maweta is like another version of Bob Marley, Daddy Lumba, Amachi Dede. That is, that is iconic. Legendary so <laughs> I don't see the reason why he will be staging an event of such magnitude, magnitude and we will not show up. I've already booked here for my stay. I know, right? And I want everybody to show up. I know, right? Let's make it happen. Thank you. Okay, okay. So that is it. The tourism yeah. in, in Ghana as a whole. Yeah. Volta region. We always say Volta region is the microcosm of Ghana. Mm. Everything you find in Ghana, you find it in a Volta region. Mm. Basically, that is it. Mm. How is your food? You've been, you've done outside Volta region more than I have. Yeah. Comparatively, okay, let's not say comparatively. But really, you think I've done more Volta, I've done other region. Oh yeah, you've done, you've done, play, you've traveled way more than I, I do, like you travel more than I do. But yeah. looking at the terrain mm -hmm. in the Volta region, so, so uh, vo uh, tourism in Ghana is mm -hmm. thriving now. Yeah. How is the feel like in the Volta region? Because it feels like the energy, you know, there was this uh, mm -hmm. Visit Volta project, like a lot, Volta region yeah. has done a lot of things to bring tourism up. Yeah. How is the feeling like now? Is that mm -hmm. then catching on? Is Volta region actually coming up when it comes to the discussion of tourism? First of all, I want to say a very big thanks to the organizers of Visit Volta because they honored me, they honored you, yeah. my brother Elombini and everybody else. It means a lot to us because at least we've been here for a while trying to, you know, make noise about Volta region. <laughs> I feel this is what, what we need. 
first of all, we need to improve our road infrastructure. That okay. is number one. People shouldn't struggle getting to where, getting to a region where there's a little heaven. <laughs> you have all the, you know, the, you have the cleanest beach. Yeah. You have vegetation, you have it. The waterfalls. The highlands, you have it. Yeah. The lowlands, you have it. Everything, you have it. People shouldn't struggle getting there. Otherwise, they won't come back again. Yeah. In as much as everybody is fighting, like we, we all want to experience some level of adventure. We don't want to struggle mm -hmm. to get there. Mm -hmm. So one, that is uh, the road infrastructure, as okay. I mentioned. Secondly, our travel destinations. We need to build a policy in terms of developing these places. Let's look at the number of, we have uncountable waterfalls. Yeah. We can only target a few, develop it. Now, in developing this place, it shouldn't just be the waterfall, you go there, throw camera around and mm -hmm. come back. You should be able to build it in such a way that somebody can go and camp there. There should be a lodge, there should be a lounge. So it wouldn't be a daily, it wouldn't be daily activity, I mean daytime activity. Even in the night, night there should life. be activities going on. So it should be experiences. It's, yes. So you see, it's 24 hour yeah. something. Somebody comes to work in the morning, go, somebody comes in the mm -hmm. evening. So like, the economy is very active. Yeah. You, you get that side. And again, we need proper regulations. As we speak right now, the people who are eye of water in terms of promoting tourism and everything, there has never been any official engagement as we speak. <laughs> See, it, it would do us more good if the various stakeholders from Ghana Tourism Authority, uh, uh, Ministry, and even the Regional Coordinating yeah. Council say, let's identify those 10 people who are already doing it. Mm -hmm. Let's empower them so that they can do more. Because the more you sell these places, the more, the more people come, the more you cash in, the more you grow. Because I, I mentioned this thing during the, the seminar. When you visit Dubai, mm -hmm. there is a dedicated you know authority called visit to dubai and their job is to entice people to come to yeah. dubai we can do that here because when we produce content and put it out there people are like oh this place is beautiful ghana is beautiful but you see that is an individual's effort but if there is a whole institutional effort backing your individual effort you can do more you see so i feel like the whole thing of Volta is beautiful. We are not packaging it well, so people are not seeing it. <laughs> you know, someone sent me a message on Twitter, mm. and the person was like, Franklin, so you are doing all this work, you are struggling, putting Volta region out there, and then you spend your own money, you go create the content, you mm. put it out there, people see it, and then they go to the sites, the tour sites make their money, the hotels make and their go. money, and for you, the one who yes. brought them in, for you, you are out of the you, equation you, completely. You see, you are not compensated, <laughs> you, you don't have any insurance mm -hmm. cover, nothing some of these things can work if if institutions are backing it yeah. sometimes it's just a matter of one company writing a letter to the other and say these people are doing a lot and we want you to give them a b c d so when you go to that waterfall and your camera flips into the water insurance cover mm. You go reach some point, I go insure my hands. <laughs> because it didn't show the things. No, like for real, for real. Because I know, I know one guy in the US, he, he's, they use his hands, no, is it his hand, his head for projects like that. The head is insured. Is, because anything can happen. Is, so every month he goes to the hospital, they make sure see the head. Then I have, to, I have to insure a few things, oh, yeah. including a few other things. You get it. People like, them, you people, people like Michael Jackson have insured <laughs> their voice. voice. Yeah, <laughs> you get it. Oh. I don't know if you've watched the Celine Dion documentary. I These people it. have insured everything. So when something kick it, touch the voice, they move on to the biggest hospital to make sure that that thing where they choke them, they go work on it out. You get it. So you see, there's a lot more we can do in terms of pushing tourism. We are okay. doing our best already. <laughs> Easy. Okay. And I know you're a busy man, so let me. <laughs> I'm trying to wrap it all up. I'm telling there's so much we can no, be here for hours and hours. This is also important. <laughs> Um, okay, so you spoke about uh, some of the things that we need to do mm. to actually promote it. Yeah. Okay, the one thing I always like to talk about mm. when we're having these discussions is that as individuals, so as a friend watching this, as yeah. someone who is online, there's one random guy who has no power to make any change, construct or anything. As individuals, what can we do personally within ourselves to promote tourism? What first, can we do? One first on of one? all, collaboration. We hate to collaborate. Mm. You see, if I you want don't, to go alone. If, if, <laughs> if you don't know your worth, that's where you think 
if I collaborate with this person, you go, you go outshine me. Yeah. I've seen that a couple of yes, times yes, where people yes. feel like they don't want to engage on Ila because he might. Yeah, but that's not it. You see, <laughs> appreciate what I do. Appreciate what we do. We move together. It's yeah. very beautiful when you all rise to the top. People don't see it like that. It's very unfortunate. If we can encourage the power of collaboration among ourselves, mm -hmm. the power of partnership, we we'll move together, and that is one thing defeating us. Because you see, they said that you see broom. If mm -hmm. they one, no go free break up. Because this person is doing it differently. This person is doing. It. It's very difficult for you to, for you and I to sit down and say, listen. Do you know we can approach these people and say A, B, C, D? But because your number is small, they will not give you attention. Yeah. So even if the people who are not doing it right put themselves together and approach. They get it. They are able to make. <laughs> they get it. I they get to that point. They get it. So collaboration is is one and. As, as people, we also have to continue speaking about who we are, what we represent. See, I keep saying this all the time. In as much as I am gone ever, for me, like, I will not give you opportunity to throw those tribal stuff at me. You can't. I won't give you yeah. the opportunity. Yeah. You see, I'll only give you the opportunity if I'm shy mm -hmm. of who I am. I'm from Nungwa. <laughs> I'm from Akachi. That is who I am. You can't take it away from me. That is all. Take me as who I am. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no. uh, Mother Nature too said we should hurry up. So. I love it. I love it. It should rain. <laughs> uh, let's talk about, <clears throat> not finally, but let's talk about, you, you touched on Facebook monetization mm. earlier on. But now that it is here, mm -hmm. How can we leverage this thing to grow as, as creatives, as musicians, as photographers, as whatever? How can we leverage it? Because the requirement looks scary. And very. how can we get this thing to work for us? Just as you said, yeah, the requirement is very scary. But as it stands now, we can only continue creating content. That no, is stop. the one. Like, we have to continue creating It's like content. a black hole. You, you, yeah. You keep pushing inside and yeah. nothing is coming out. Nothing is coming out. But you have to keep, because one thing I believe <laughs> is that, you see the content we are, for me, I create the content as much as every single day. I put certain mechanisms in place to make sure that the content gets to the people who need it. And see, a very big thanks to everybody who have been watching my content. God bless you so much. More to come. You see, there should always be that element that speaks to the people. Mm -hmm. You understand? It's a message on its own you are doing yeah. now. Let's create, let's continue creating content. And again, let's pay attention to their community standards so that you don't violate any. Because yeah. as we speak right now, you know, one of my pages is like, it's not being monetized because of such. No, you okay. get it. So make sure that you don't use music too much, like copyrighted music, yeah. especially. So use like, you can go on YouTube, go on other platforms, go on Google, search um, license free yeah. songs and use this song so that they don't hit your account with multiple violation, you know, consent that you know something small small good come true mm -hmm. it's really a great conversation today i'm great and how how do we get to you like talk talk about or i want to like talk about how do we get to you online Very guys well, hold, on, hold on a little bit before we continue during the filming process our microphones went off i don't know what happened the main microphone went off the backup microphone also went off so we had to rely on the third microphone which wasn't the very best but it's the best to go right now so just bear with me i try to enhance it and clean it a little bit it might not be the very best you know but i'm adding subtitles so that should be a good one right okay so let's jump inside to the discussion again and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and then follow us along let's go guys my name is johnny Lam. yeah just go at my facebook twitter instagram will pop up but you know one thing i'm going to do if you go on my youtube or, or, or TikTok, they have these beautiful videos out there if you want to have to watch. And again on Facebook as well, the name is Janila. The spelling is, I, I know you can explain, but let me just call you J O N I L A R. Janila. But again, the company is Janila.net. So follow us on all platforms, Janila.net, everywhere. Let's get in touch. Charlie, we the promote companies, we the promote businesses. Everything you did do some, so please get in touch. That'd be the only thing we did survive on those. Nice one, nice one. <laughs> okay, so before you leave, your camera again, there's just to be we make all, all the big interviews. Hey, they can't put me on the spot. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> so we are just bringing both to the whole time. So, right, right. watch your camera head on, and it's double V for visible. 
PM. It's all like PM. What the double V? Uh -huh. So V visit V voter. Double oh, V for okay. visit voter. Yo, yeah, what's up everybody? My name is Johnny La and it's double V for Visit Volta. Welcome.